problem number 11th in this question we have three subdivisions let's we answer one by one first part of the question in unit vector notation what is the sum a vector plus b vector if a vector equal to 4 meter i cap plus 3 meter j cap and b vector equal to minus 13 meter i cap plus 7 meter j cap this is our first question and the second question we have to find the magnitude of the sum of a vector plus b vector and in the third question we have to find the direction of the a vector plus b vector so let's we answer one by one so first of all let's we write the given first so what is given in the question a vector which is equal to 4 meter i cap plus 3 meter j cap and b vector is equal to minus 13 meter i cap plus 7 meter j cap and what we have to find we have to find a vector plus b vector so that is our first question so i'm going to add vector a with vector b so i can write a vector plus b vector which is equal to while we add two vectors we have to add i cap of the first vector with i cap of the second vector right so that means 4 meter plus minus 13 meter vector that means we have to add these one so when you add these so what you will get you will get minus 9 meter i cap and here you have to add 7 meter j cap plus 3 meter j cap right so 7 plus 3 you will get 10 meter j cap so this is the answer for the first part now what we have to do we have to use this answer for finding the magnitude of this a vector plus b vector so in the second part we have to find magnitude of a vector plus b vector so we have to write this equation so what's the equation for a vector plus b vector a vector plus b vector equation here is minus 9 meter i cap plus 10 meter j cap so how to find the magnitude so we have to take a vector plus b vector magnitude and we have to take square root and we have to square the x component value so what is the x component value here because x component a uh, unit vector here is i cap y component unit vector is j cap so while we find the component what we have to do we have to take this component value and then we have to square here so how we can square minus 9 meter whole square plus likewise we have to do the same thing for the y component value here the y component value is 10 meter so 10 meter square so now i have to find the answer so minus 9 multiplied by minus 9 we will get 81 plus 81 meter square plus 100 meter square right now i have to add 81 with 100 so we will get 181 meter square which will come inside the square root so let's find the square root of 181 value. So the square root of 181 value is 13.45 meter. So this is the magnitude of A vector plus B vector value. Clear? Now in the third part, we have to find the direction of the equation A vector plus B vector. So we have to answer for the third question to find the direction. So to find the direction of a vector plus b vector. So what's the equation? Let's we write the equation one more time. So what's the equation for a vector and b vector? Which is minus 9 meter i cap 
plus 10 meter J cap minus 9 meter I cap plus 10 meter J cap. So what we have to do, we have to find the direction. So what we studied in the theory, to find the direction, we have to take theta, which is equal to the tan inverse of, tan inverse of A vector plus B vector Y component, right? Divided by A vector plus B vector X component, right? So what is A vector, B vector, Y component? The A vector, B vector, Y component here is 10, right? Likewise, for A vector plus B vector, vector X component here is minus 9. So I have to substitute the value here. So if you substitute, what you'll get? Tan inverse of 10 meter divided by minus 9 meter. So meter get cancelled. So let's refine the answer. Tan inverse of 10 divided by minus 9. We got the answer as theta equal to minus 48.01 degree. So this is the answer for the direction of a vector plus b vector. So this is the answer for the third part. Thank you.